Alrighty, let's check some comments on YouTube. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre review. Okay, what does it say? I really enjoyed this review. Could you please review all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels? It wouldn't take much. Thanks. How many sequels can there be? I mean, two or three? Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 Leatherface. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4. The remake. The beginning. 3D? Only for you guys. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is a 1986 horror slasher movie directed by Toby Hooper and starring Dennis Quaid. Hmm. I was kind of surprised that there were this many Texas Chainsaw sequels, and I was mostly surprised by one thing. The original movie came out in 1974, and it was also directed by Toby Hooper. And then a sequel was made 12 years later? That's a long, long time. So I was kind of interested what they were going to do with this one. The original was very subdued, was very dark, even though there, there were a little bit of elements of comedy, of dark comedy mostly. This sequel is kind of the opposite of the original. They have Tom Savini, the masterful, lovely special effects guy who made all the greatest slasher movies of the 70s and 80s and 90s. He took the arm of this movie in terms of special effects and boy there is blood in this one. There are great, great special effects and great death scenes. And yeah, you get to see actual violence. There aren't that many death scenes as much as one might expect, even less death scenes than in the original movie. But it's way, way more bloody and way more violent and they liked it. And they also kind of liked the tone because when it first started, I have to say the first act was horrible. There were uninteresting characters, pointless plot lines, Dennis Quaid with a frown for the entire time, it was not very enjoyable. But then, as soon as Leatherface and his crazy-ass Sawyer family appeared, this basically became an episode of the Three Stooges. They are crazy, they are crazy, but they were a joy to watch. And this is basically a B-movie satire, more or less. It makes fun of what people are actually expecting to see. The first one was very dark, grim, violent, but not bloody. This one is the opposite. This one is bloody, this one is more darkly comical, it has a more obvious story, and there are just crazy shenanigans that ensue. And I also really enjoyed the set design. It's done very, very well, and there are a lot of neon lights, be it in the radio station or at the lair of the Sawyer family. And also, there is a freaking chainsaw duel. A chainsaw duel! at the end of the movie. That's crazy. I had never seen anything like it before. It's relatively poorly choreographed, but it's still just as good as one might expect from a B-movie slasher flick. So, I have to say I was kind of surprised by this movie. It was actually very, very fun, very enjoyable as soon as the actual killing starts. And there is a lot of blood, there is a lot of comedy, there is a lot of Dennis Quaid just chewing the scenery in the final act of the movie. It's fun, it's a very fun movie, it's not good, but I still very much enjoyed it. It's way different from the original, if you enjoy the original for its darker tones, you're probably not going to enjoy this one, you might actually think it's one of the worst movies you've ever seen, as many other people's have, people have said, but personally I loved it. It was good, bad, or yeah, I think that's a, a saying, you know, a badly done movie that's still just as enjoyable, movies like The Room, Troll 2, I mean, I like them. I like them because they are fun, and sometimes I just want to have fun watching a movie, and this was just excellent fun. But still, guys, if you see The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, do you want to see it? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you 
next video.